Hello everyone, welcome to Treasures for Living. My name is Nandu Williams and I am the creator of the Treasures for Living podcast. So I wanted to share with us today um, just a few tips. You know, when we talk about our spouses, sometimes I realize it's so much easier to treat people outside better than uh, we treat the ones that are closest to us. So I was thinking about, I was having a conversation with somebody that, you know, I really respect this evening. And the person said to me, sometimes we don't know what we have until we lose it. And I thought, wow, that's so powerful. So I decided to share this with us and ask us a few questions. So I've written down five questions and I want you to ask yourself if this is you. Now, if it is you, it means that we need to make adjustments. I don't know about you. I know that some of these apply to me. So it's not just for, um, not just for you, but also for me. So five, five ways for you to know you are taking, um, you are taking advantage of your spouse. Okay. One, do you say thank you? Now, do you remember to say thank you for the smallest things that they do for you? You know, it, it, it just look through the day, look at what they've done, look at how they've gone about doing it. Do you remember to say to them, <clears throat> excuse me, remember to say to them, thank you for this. Thank you for that. Thank you for doing this. You know, thank you. You know, are you appreciative? Do you want, do you say thank you? Do you say thank you for everything? Very important. Number two, do you listen to them? So, you know, listening is beyond just saying, mm, yeah. Mm, mm. Sometimes listening is avoiding the body language, avoiding the attitude. Avoiding checking on your phone while somebody is speaking to you. They are speaking to you. You are looking at your phone. You are not paying them attention. You are in a hurry to go somewhere. You tell them to round it up quickly. Or you just tell them, just give them a blanket statement. We are not listening. My husband says to me, oh, you are not listening to me sometimes. And I think, but I am here. I am listening. <laughs> and But sometimes it's that I am not listening attentively. Sometimes it's also about avoiding those grunts, you know, like, mm. hmm. you know, this guy, uh, having, uh, so somebody's telling you, really pouring out their heart to you, and they're having an attitude like, mm. 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 you know, <laughs> all those things. So it, it doesn't allow communication to flow. Think about it when you're at work, when you're with people that you value and people that you respect, when they start talking to you, you pay attention. They, what they may, may be saying may be painful, annoying uncomfortable but you pay complete and total attention until they finish then you now say okay can i talk and then you clarify you're not rude you don't just interrupt them anyhow and not let them speak yeah okay two are you listening to them are you listening to them and are you listening for their heart so not just the words that they're saying but looking at their body language looking at how they're conveying it thinking about the tone of their voice is there pain in it is there a struggle? Is there a challenge? You know, it's important. Number three, being impatient. You know, sometimes we're very patient with everybody outside. They'll do a thousand different things, make a thousand mistakes. And we're like, okay, I'll practice the fruit of spirit. Okay, uh, um, you know, um, maybe Suzanne, you can do it again. You can do better. But when it's our family or it's our spouses, oh, you couldn't do it. Uh, give it to me. I'll do it. Oh, I can't even ask you the question. I'm not even going to bother to ask them. But Jesus is very patient with you. He has been so patient with you all this time. And he has just been there for you. Why will you not be patient with your spouse? Remember that God, God, God says that one of the reasons why he doesn't answer our prayers and he does not give us breakthrough is when we shut our heart to the needs of those who are closest to us. So we can be patient with everybody else outside, you know? But when it comes to my kids, when it comes to my husband, I'm not exercising that one. I'm a very headline person. When you're talking to me, I want you to get to the point. All this, you know, faffing about. <laughs> I'm like, ah, no. And I, still, I just realized again, having spent some time with somebody else last week, she was trying to teach me something. Was like, okay, okay, okay. And I was quick. She was so patient with me. Finally, I said to her, I said, you know what? I realized I don't really listen enough. So I'm going to come back to you again. Please be patient with me and teach me this thing and I'll listen. So are you patient? Are you patient with your spouse? So that's the third question I'd like you to answer. Number four, do you treat others better than you treat your spouse? So think about it when you go to the shop and someone annoys you or, you know, they, they walk in front of you or you need to give them a way to go first or you need to defer to somebody. You know, do you treat people outside better than you treat your spouse? So 
you, you do this wonderful behavior to everyone outside. But when it comes to your spouse, you don't have time. You can't be bothered. You don't treat them well. It's like, yeah, you know, it's, that's taking your spouse for, uh, uh, for granted. That's taking your husband or your wife for granted. That's what it is. Okay.